Happy Saturday night! Welcome to the Strum de la Strum, and welcome to St. Jude Play Live Day 2 of my 2023 campaign. Thank you all so much for being here. And if you're just getting here, there is a poll going on in the chat. If you do not see it, uh, please refresh the page because you guys are going to be choosing which board these AI CPUs play tonight. 
and that's going to be done through uh, chat poll. So I have the first four boards up now. The winner of this will go head to head with the winner of the second poll, which will start right after this. So anyway, just to get that out of the way, because I know once I start talking, I'll probably lose track of time and then that poll will be over and I won't have mentioned it. So anyway, <laughs> welcome to the night. Welcome to uh, Mario Party AI for the Cure. This is a party for the cure. That is the theme of my campaign this year. And we've already reached our goal, you guys. I had a set goal of $500 to get us past the $15,000 threshold for the total amount raised over the years since I started doing these campaigns. So in total, since 2018, 2019, whenever it was, I have... I shouldn't say I. I don't like that word for this. We. We have raised... $15,000, more than that, for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Hospital. Yes, I can speak, I promise. I can't lose my ability to speak already. It's too early in the night. Um, but as of last night, you guys were absolutely incredible. Thank you to everybody who's already donated. So all of this is just icing on the cake. I increased the goal by $100. Um, but honestly, like, so much has already happened in one night. I am already over the moon thrilled um, that this has been such a success and last night was so much fun we played Mario Party 6 it was Friday Night Mario Party which is always a fun time and there were all kinds of fun things happening and the fun can continue tonight except this time jokes on the game not on me this time because I'm not gonna be playing I'm gonna be just letting the AI do their thing and looking like a big weirdo for you guys, I guess. I have a lot of incentives to put things on my face or on my head or whatever. Um, so I just want to start by telling you guys, first of all, that Nightbot will be posting links throughout the night to my St. Jude campaign as well as the donation link. You can get to the donation URL via the campaign page. Um, but if you want a direct link, it's just exclamation donate in the chat. Exclamation St. Jude will take you to the entire campaign page. That will tell you all about, uh, the cause, the incentives, the milestones, which we've already met them as of last night. So, um, those are all taken care of as of last night. Um, P.S. If anybody's watching from last night that won one of the giveaways, I said I would reach out after the stream and I'm going to reach out after this stream. Um, because that did not happen and I was like I'm just gonna wait so anyway if you've been waiting on that I promise I haven't forgotten you um, that's to come uh, after after the campaign is concluded basically so anyway um, you can redeem incentive rewards for as little as a one dollar donation um, and there are incentives up to fifty dollars in donations of course you can donate whatever amount you want it's just certain amounts the fifty dollar amount you can pick anything in the list the um, other amounts, you know, you'll have to donate whatever it says. So I had my cheat sheet up last night and now I forgot to open it for tonight. So I'm going to open it for you guys, read off the incentives and talk a little, just a little bit about the cause because I talked about it last night. I know a lot of you were probably here for that, but in case you weren't, I'll go over it one more time. Um, but anyway, our incentives start at $1. For a $1 donation, I will add a googly eye to my face or fill in a Mad Lib word of your choice. Uh, for $5, I'll wear animal ears for five minutes, or you can add a tattoo. I will say the tattoos are very small, so just fair warning. Um, for a $10 donation, I'll wear kaleidoscope glasses for five minutes, um, or I'll just have puppets on my hands. I'm not playing, so that's going to be just more of a fun thing for this evening. For $15, I'll wear a hamburger hat for 10 minutes. I really love this incentive, by the way. Uh, for a $20 donation, there are two different incentives tonight. There was only one last night. You can only get the hood last night. But uh, for tonight, you can also change the CPU difficulty of one of the CPUs in the game. Um, that's for minimum of... I was going to do minimum of five minutes, but because I don't have a good way of timing this, I think I'll just do minimum of one turn, so that way if two people donate for that back-to-back, -back, we'll get at least a turn out of it. Um, for the same player, I mean. $25 donation gets you super zoom for 10 minutes, and a $50 donation gets you a dance video on demand. And it's random, so you just get- the stream just gets overshadowed by this dance video, and it's kind of chaotic, but... Anyway, those are the incentives. We're raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Mario's Rainbow Castle! What a shock! Is the winner of the first poll. I'm gonna set up the next one. So, Mario's Rainbow Castle is in the finale. The, the finale? The finals. Um, <laughs> it's in the finals. 
Let me set up this poll really quickly and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about St. Jude in case you're unfamiliar or you've heard the name and you're like, I really don't know what this is about. Um, so which board? And this time we're going to have Luigi's... Oh, I did spell that right. Engine room. That really looked wrong at first. Yoshi's Tropical Island. Island. Wario's Battle Canyon. That's not how you spell canyon. And Eternal Star. I tried to put an unlockable on each, so it wasn't like, oh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make this one for a little bit less time, too. So you guys will have five minutes to vote in this next poll, so. There we go. The next poll is live. If you don't see it, you'll need to refresh the page. Just letting you all know. Okay. Anyway. So St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is the leading children's hospital in the world. They provide research to cure life-threatening illness in children, specifically, especially cancer. That was their main mission when they opened. Now it has progressed to more than just cancer, but... Um, they are incredible. They have so many amazing scientists behind what they do and they share all of their efforts with other hospitals around the globe. So it's not like, well, you have to go there to get the treatment, the best treatment. No, you have, they share their research with other doctors. So, uh, and other scientists. So it's all like a, a world cause. It's to end childhood cancer. They basically want to put themselves out of business is their goal at the end of the day. Um, so that no child dies of cancer. That's just not fair, obviously. Um, we all, guaranteed, all of us know somebody who has been diagnosed with cancer. Um, and, you know, childhood cancer is just like such an unfair thing in the world that if there's anything that can be done about it, it's this type of thing, raising awareness, raising the funds to get the research in, the treatment. St. Jude also does not charge a dime to any of their patients, their families. This is kind of something where if a child is diagnosed, their whole family can basically move to the campus of the hospital while they go through their treatment and they provide them with the most normal childhood experience possible and the family just with a worry-free experience. They don't have to worry about like, how am I going to pay for food when I'm not working because my child is battling cancer at the moment? Or how am I going to get a gift for my child's birthday because I... I'm here and I can't, I'm paying for this treatment. Like, it's not like that at all. It's just a very, um, a very strong, heartfelt mission. Like, honestly, I'm trying to come up with better words than that, but I'm apparently not as eloquent as I would like to be in the moment. <laughs> anyway, regardless, this alleviates the stress of these families that have children that have had an unfair diagnosis in their life. So you guys can make all the difference. That's what the cause is about. That's what we're raising money for. And, um, you know, I'm just absolutely thrilled this community is so supportive and giving to this cause year after year. So thank you for participating once again. Even if you have nothing to give, you can always share um, the mission, share the word of mouth or the stream, the campaign. I appreciate it. A little goes a long way. So thank you for being here. Thank you to everybody who has supported the cause already. I need to say hi to everybody who is here. We have Psycho Nacho Man, uh, Phoenix Warriors, Star Dev, Phantom Tempest, Lovely Kin, Rainbow Road, Kaboomek, uh, Chris, Dark Star, and Blissey. Welcome on in. Welcome everybody who's in chat. And if you are not in chat, if you're just lurking, thank you so much for watching. Your viewership is appreciated. Um, and anybody watching after the fact on YouTube, thank you as well. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much everything I want to cover. I said a lot last night. Um, I talked for a very long time about, you know, the cause and the you know, a lot, a lot to do with St. Jude last night, so I don't want to repeat myself too much, but I will just reiterate that it is for a great cause, so thank you to everybody who has given so far. And here are the incentives! There we go. Um, the incentives are listed on my screen here, and you can also find them again on the campaign page if you need access to that page. You just use exclamation St. Jude in the chat and Nightbot will pop up a link for you. Also, if you want to 
shorter, a little shortcut there. I also have a link tree I'll share in the chat really quickly. It's just my link tree. It's exclamation Madame Wario that has all of my links in it and the St. Jude links are at the top at the moment. So you can access them quickly and easily just that way if you prefer to have that page up to the side or whatever. Um, okay, so let me... I'm gonna... I had alerts paused for the moment so that way nothing would interrupt my spiel and cause me to take 10,000 years. This poll is almost over! Um, so we have one more poll after this and then we're gonna get started with the game. So, Jilly has joined me again, by the way. She's so cozy back there. And it looks like Mario's Rainbow Castle is going head-to-head -head against Yoshi's Tropical Island. All right, let's go. Here's the final poll. You guys will have two minutes to vote on this final poll. And this will be the, the winning board of the night. So Mario's Rainbow Castle, Yoshi's, whoops, Tropic, no, 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 no. Tropical Island. I swear I can spell, but not today. Okay. Start poll. Again, if you do not see it in the chat, please refresh your page so it'll pop up for you. Um, but otherwise, happy voting. Thank you guys. You have two minutes, less than two minutes now, to vote for which board you would like tonight. Also, Bree is in the house. How's it going, Bree? I can't wait for my Mad Lib beats either. I know you can't wait. <laughs> and this is the first stream you've gotten to see in a long time, Blissy. Thank you so much for stopping on in. Always happy to have fellow pimps back in the house. So thank you so much. Also, did I say, I feel like I missed i might have i don't know if i missed you rainbow road but if i did welcome to the stream i think that's the only name that i'm like questioning at the moment um i've been fortunate to not know anyone personally who's been diagnosed with cancer or has gone through it that said no one deserves to go through that especially not children gotta support a good cause yes definitely thank you so much for sharing that phantom and it's so true um you know and it's one of those things even at the summit that i if you guys watched the video before I started talking, that's just video footage of me and my husband at the St. Jude Summit for this year, which was a wonderful experience, uh, very eye-opening for some details that, you know, I wasn't aware of, uh, even knowing the cause and raising funds for it all these years, you know, you always can learn more, and um, one thing that they said was that, you know, cancer used to be a death sentence for children, and it because of their research and all that they've been able to do, it's not, that's not necessarily the case anymore. Um, they have an 80% survival rate, which is amazing because when they opened their doors, they had a 20% survival rate, and they did not have nearly the research or technology that they do today. So it's only going to get better. Like, that's kind of the the whole deal with the organization, is it's, it can only get better. And Mario's Rainbow Castle is the winner by one vote. One single vote. Well, thank you guys so much for voting. I'm gonna get this set up. Let me go ahead and switch screens so you can see Toad endlessly falling down the warp pipe. I am, of course, going to put Wario into this game. Um, I'm gonna set all the CPUs to easy as of the start, unless we get like a donation in here that's like, no, don't do that. Um, but you guys know the drill. Please pick your character you would like. And. <laughs> oh, free! <laughs> Please pick your character you'd like. Post him in the chat and Nightbot will play. What is this? <laughs> hey, this was the first uh, alert we got yesterday, too. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rainbow Road. Rainbow love. Love. Sorry, I just read those emotes for what they were. Thank you so much for the $15 donation. Thank you so much, Rainbow Road. And... Uh, <laughs> thank you so very much for kicking off the night, getting us even further past our goal. We, uh, again, we have a new goal, but the original goal was 500, so. Uh, thank you so much, Rainbow Road. Oh, you know what would help is if Nightbot were here to actually choose. Uh, what happened to this tab? I must have closed it on accident. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, 
Hold on, this is not gonna work if Nightbot's not working. Okay, once you see me post... No, 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 no. There we go. Once you see me post... Cool. Oh, no. Not cold? No. There we go. If your comment was before I posted cool, post it again. Um, for your character. Anyway, Bree, why is you talking about St. Jude making me want to cry? I don't know, Bree. <laughs> I don't know. I have emotional days like that, like, almost every day, so it's fine. Yo, yo, Yoshi, welcome on in. Trackstar, Nosegay the Anteater, welcome on in. I will read the incentive also once we choose characters, uh, Rainbow Road. Thank you so much again for the donation. I'm, I did not forget about that. I just want to do this first. So, first of all, we have Darkstar choosing Luigi. All right, then we have... Oh my god, Nightbot, you're such a jerk. Okay, no, Nightbot chose himself, so we're gonna ignore that. Trackstar, who chose Yoshi, and truly, last but not least, is Phantom Tempest, who also chose Yoshi. So if you have a second choice Phantom, feel free to get it in there. And thank you so much for choosing characters, you guys. Okay, I'm also gonna read this, um, is this on the right page? It is. Okay, great. Uh, I don't see an incentive attached to Rainbow Road. Uh, so if you have something that you would like to redeem, or if you were going for the hamburger hat since you did donate $15, uh, just let me know for sure, and I'll get that timer started with that. Peach. All right, all the- hey, this is my classic team from, you know, back in the day. I feel like now I never get this team. And we're gonna just get started here. Why do I have this like this? Okay. Um, and is the game audio okay? I tried to adjust it before, but sometimes it's hard to tell. Um, yes, this is great. Okay, audio is good, thank you. 50 turns, let's go, we're gonna get started. Um, and welcome to Mario's Rainbow Castle. It looks so cute with like, with the background, this like screen just, that opening title screen, it matched. I like when things match, it's fun. All right. And this is the only bit of this I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna switch Wario to a CPU. Oh, well this is gonna be easy, because I'm literally turn number one, so... I can do whatever I need to do. I think, um, at the end of this, maybe I'll make everybody a real person, just so I can get the coins from this. I am playing this- this is the Switch version. Um, got these stupid black borders. Super annoying. Alright, we're gonna not use, uh, game explanation. We're gonna have fast. And we are gonna save just for the sake of if something weird happened. I don't see why that would, but, you know. And you're gonna be... Hey kid, I'm a computer! Alright, you're gonna be a computer. Um, and Rainbow Road, did you have an incentive you wanted to redeem with that donation? Okay, I think we're ready here. Oosh. Here we go. Also, I'm gonna remove this border because it's- WHAT?! Oh boy, what a fun, immediate game. Wario's gonna be far worse at this than I would be, I promise. <laughs> so dumb! Okay, well, one ground pound is- oh wait, there's only a black border on the map itself, so I guess I don't need to crop it. That's so weird though, why does it have a black border? There's an incentive list on the, um, on the pay- on the- hold on. Sorry, on the campaign page itself. Rainbow Road. But you can either do a hamburger hat- Kaleidoscope glasses, tattoo, animal ears, mad lib word, googly eye. They should be on there though. There we go. So. Uh, let me pull up. There we go. 
If you go to the campaign page, it should have, like, incentives or rewards, maybe, in a tab. My view looks a little bit different than the view from your end, probably, but... Dang, two solos in a row? I didn't even pay attention to how badly he did. And this is, like, the exact same setup. However, this is a game you can just lose in general. Oh, kaleidoscope glasses! Alright, let's do it. Five minutes. This is gonna be real tricky to read the chat, but I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> Alright, let me get the timer going. Five. There we go. Ah! I kinda forgot how this was. I feel like a bug with these on. Hold on, how do I... There we go. Now I'm on the right screen. This is really, uh... I'm trying to click on, um... Oh my gosh, I have to cheat. Okay, there we go. Now I can see everything. Except I can't see anything, because I see like 12 of the same thing right now. Alright, well, since I can't really read the chat at the moment, I'm gonna... I'm gonna read what I can of the chat, but like, my OBS window is... Oh, that's a lot of hands. My OBS window is open, and it's overlapping chat. Oh wait, if I look like this, I can kind of see stuff. Hold on. How many fingers am I holding up? Well, if I hold up one finger, I see... One, two, three, four, five. I'm holding up... Wait a second, now that I moved... One, two... Like, three and a half. What, four? Five. Four and two halves. That's what it looks like. Um, which is five. <laughs> if I look a specific way, I can see the chat. This feels like the nightmare version of an eye exam. Guys, I can't explain that. Like, I wish you could see. You know when you see, like, um... Old school computers with, like the black screen and the green text, but it's like, it's like that, but you're watching it in a movie that's all pixelated, and for a, for a fun effect, like it's changing screens. Does that make sense? Probably not, but look at us go! Everybody's easy and wins? I don't think so. That's not, mm, -mm. Oh, I should do a prediction, which is going to be impossible to do with these glasses on. But I should do a prediction of who's gonna win. I know who I'm predicting. Because how could I not root for my person? Okay, I was like, I feel like my camera's- either I'm slouching or my camera was too high. Or I can't see. It's one of- one of the three. Let me see if I can look through this angle and see what you guys are saying. Who's that in the chat? Ice Yoshi? Yo, Ice Yoshi! How's it going? I think that's what your name is. I don't think I will know for sure until later, but... The glasses are pretty fun. I could read that comment. They're just a fun time. Oh wow, I have like- there, there are like 15 bob -omb balloons right now. Oh, there's a lot more now. If I look at it like this, there are like 25. Wario, what are you doing? Oh my god, how is he that bad? Do you see that corner? Put my name to shame! He's gonna get like... 62%? I get that when I do perfect! This game is rigged. Peach wins again? What are you guys doing? You guys are not playing to your full potential. Like, I'm sorry, but you're not. Okay, well, I'm in third. I'm just gonna say I, even though that's a CPU. Um... Sucks to suck. Why is my, my nose is like oily? It's making the glasses slip. Ooh, shell game. Getting all the one player games out of the way. <laughs> I 
there are a thousand shells right now. I see how many platforms? Four? Three. Five. Seven? I, this is like, this really is like an eye exam when they're like eight or nine. Eight or not, and you're like, I don't know, they both look like garbage. Like, why do I have to choose one of these? Um, yeah. <laughs> so annoying. <gasps> Sorry, I just heard a quack outside. That was exciting. I love when the ducks fly by. Guys, I just love all the spring animal- Oh, this is not good. I'm trying to pick up this cup and I can't- Oh! Oh, I can see again! Yay! Okay. Stop the alarm. Well, thank you, Rainbow Road. I hope you had a fun trip. I certainly did. Hey, it was Ice Yoshi! Good to know. And welcome to the stream. I'm doing well. Also, James, welcome on in. We just lost the game! Well, we didn't quite lose yet, but we also didn't win. Now I can do this prediction. Okay, start prediction. We're gonna say, hmm. Wait, what? Can I have more than, oh, I can't have more than one option, right? All right, who will the Saint Jude 2023 Mario Party champ be? And it's gonna be either Wario, uh, Peach, oh, Yoshi, or Luigi. Okay, cool. The submission period. <gasps> what? Everybody sucked? Oh my god, that's kooky! Okay, how I don't know how long to make the submission period. I guess 10 minutes. 44 out of 45. Is this good? Okay, start prediction. Okay, do you guys see the prediction? This is the same thing. If you don't see the prediction, then refresh the page, because it should be at the top of chat. Or it should pop up in your chat and be like, wow, there's a prediction going on, yay! Um, ooh, get your predictions in for who you think's gonna win. You can wager channel points. Um, I cannot believe they just drew. Like, how does that even happen? It's so stupid! Whoa, Toad in Wonderland, how's it going? Welcome to the stream! I didn't know you could draw either. Like, how are you, how, that's because nobody's that bad. Like, no. <laughs> I really hope they get bomb skip ball because I've seen when I've done the do nothing challenges like Wario wins by doing nothing. Bomb skip ball always had the funniest outcome with easy CPUs. Like they always did the dumbest stuff. So I really hope that pops up here and we get to see it because that would be the best. Why do I feel like this is still too high? Okay, hopefully that's good. Go, Wario. Come on. You got this, Trej. No! Every time I look at the screen, Peach wins! Every time I've looked at the screen, she's won. Um, also, Fireflower, how's it going? You can also see if you- Oh, okay, good. I didn't realize that was a thing. Thank you for clarifying, because I honestly had no idea it showed it that way. So thank you for clarifying. I don't do predictions super often, and usually when I do them, one of my mods sets it up, but... What?! Only 1% has chosen Wario as the winner? I am disappointed. How could you guys say this? Most of you are choosing Peach so far. 85% chooses Peach, 10% on Luigi, 4% on Yoshi, and 1% on Wario! How could you do this? Watch, she's gonna win this. Like, there's no way. The game is favoring Peach, you're right. Like, th they didn't have a chance. Finish. Dumb. <laughs> Can you help me up? Oh, Psycho! 
yourself. <laughs> Wario <laughs> needs assistance in the poll. Very, he shall receive very one. fitting. Yeah, Wario does uh, need assistance in the poll and is not receiving any, but, you know, it's all good. Thank you, Psycho, for the bits. Um, that 1%, though. I'm going with Wario. I'm part of the 1%. Let's go, yo, yo. <laughs> Sorry, girl. We have to be real here. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I, I did have to sneeze. Dilly, did you go stretchy? Okay, anyway, I just saw- I keep hearing quacking outside the window. Thank you for the bless. So you guys, we are raising money for St. Jude. Um, still just cherry on top. We raised our ultimate- our goal of $500 last night, so anything extra is wildly ap appreciated and just like a bonus. Um, but I have all kinds of fun incentives, mostly for fun things for me to put on my face or on my head or something. But you can also change the CPU difficulty of your a CPU of your choice for a $20 donation. So I'll go over the incentives one more time. $1 gets you either a googly eye or a Mad Lib word. Um, Probably just like a, at this point, I would say a full Mad Lib. You can like submit multiple words if you want. Um, Five dollars gets you either animal ears for five minutes or a tattoo. Ten dollars gets you kaleidoscope glasses or puppet hands for five minutes. Fifteen dollars gets you a hamburger hat for ten minutes. Uh, Twenty dollars again gets you change of the CPU difficulty or the hood for ten minutes. $25 gets you super zoom for 10 minutes, and $50 gets you a dance video on demand. So if you donate 50 <laughs> Sucks to suck! It finally did not go in her favor. So anyway, $50 is um, the max incentive. You can, of course, donate more than that or whatever you want, but um, if you donate $50, you can choose from any of those as your incentive is what I'm trying to say. So, anyway, and Nightbot will be sharing my St. Jude links all throughout the night. You, of course, also get a fun limited time alert because my Tiltify tilt alerts are unique to these streams, so, but anyway. Sucks to suck. I, I didn't even see Yoshi get the first star. Did he just get that, or am I just not paying one bit of attention whatsoever? It could very much be that I just am not paying one bit of attention at all. Oh, I forgot to enable Boo! Oh, shucks. I forgot to enable Boo for this. I guess it's not, like, a huge deal, though. Just makes it that much more competitive with this kind of crap. Anyway, what do you think, Julie? I thought she moved. She did not. Uh. Ready? Go. Wow, spinning out immediately. I remember when this game first came out, and it was like the easy CPUs gave you a run for your money because nobody knew what they were doing yet. And, and now it's tragically like when you see them play like this, and you're like, I struggled against this at first. <laughs> Then it's really embarrassing to think about the memories. Are you kidding me right now? You guys, no way! There's probably just like a couple minutes left with this prediction, by the way. Wow, Wario is not being predicted at all. I really hope for the comeback. He's in fourth, so maybe... you never know. But, um... Looks like we've got the largest wager on Peach still, which I don't really blame you, because the game is just like, wow, look at Peach. Um. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, it's not hard to look back on ourselves and be like, what was wrong with me? I mean, I know what was wrong is the fact that, like, we'd never played this game before, but it's just funny that we were that bad starting out. So... Um, this game came out when I was seven years old, eight years old. I played it right after it came out, so it, I would have been like seven or eight. But, you know. It's my favorite game, so can't, can't complain. 
And hey, now I can speedrun Minigame Island and do well. Also, things are really not looking good. Like, he just lost all of his money before the timer was even up. <laughs> Poor Wario. And now he's gonna bring Bowser back. Cool. I know. I feel the same with how much easy CPUs gave me trouble when I see them act like this. Yeah, like, I don't- But then, also, in the defense of that, look at what's happening with Peach right now. The game's just kind of like, oh, we'll just- Yeah, she, we'll give it to her. I'll just- She'll just be the winner. Like, so, that's the kind of crap that would happen with the one CPU, like, if you played three real people- If three real people were playing at one CPU, it would be that kind of luck. For the computer. So, it was not fair, and it was not balanced, and it's still not fair and not balanced. Um, well, I put a bunch of points on Wario, so you better be right with this turnaround. I hope so! By the way, uh, the prediction has just over a minute remaining. So if you have not predicted yet... Look at that! 41%! Thanks for you! It's look like- it looks like we've gotten two votes for Luigi, four votes for Yoshi, four votes for Peach, and six votes for Wario. Oh, oh. Oh, Wario is winning the wager now. Oh, I feel so much better now. <laughs> Dream Knight, welcome to the stream. Wario's now number one! He is definitely number one now. Okay, now a lot of weight is riding on our fourth place player. The one and only Big Wah, who's in fourth with three coins. It's, you know. He's a winner, obviously. Um, also. What else did I want to look at? I wanted to pause and see what turn we're on, just so I know. But I can't, because this cutscene is happening. There we go, turn nine. Turn nine! And pretty much everyone is doing great, except for Big Wah. Okay, great might be an overstatement, but... I had 300,000 points, never used them here. I considered doing a 100k vote just for the heck of it. Let's go! Also, thank you for the follow! Wario, you have to swim. What are you doing? Go! Don't get the tiny chest! What is he doing? He's going for all the teeniest, tiniest chests! Those have like half a coin in them! Wario, you go for that little chest, I'm not- <laughs> Not only did he go for the little ch chest, he swam to the bottom. The bottom. So, so dumb. Like, what are you doing, Wario? Poop and scoop. Okay, well, he got like half a coin. How did he get seven? I don't know how that happened. I really don't have any idea. I know, if only you could uh, turn those points into real money, right? Can't. Oh my god, Bree! Here we go! This is Bree's favorite minigame. Which I make that joke every single time, even though it's old. I don't care. <laughs> Wrong! What are you doing? <laughs> I don't even know where this joke came from anymore. I'm pretty sure it was just like the concept of like, of all the games, that one being your favorite seemed like the most hilariously not true to me. I know, Peach finally lost something. She's not good at bowling and she's not good at guessing ghosts. Two very interesting things to be bad at. You know. And it looks like the prediction is over, so as soon as- so it's- predictions are locked in. 
We have 41% voting for Wario now, 30% voting for Peach, 12% on Yoshi, 17% on Luigi. So Yoshi is the underdog as far as the prediction poll goes. Oh my god, I love this game! Oh, this is gonna sound so good with um, CPUs. And I get to be on the trumpet and I don't get to play. Only the okay, never mind. But the first person hit was the conductor. Imagine doing that at a concert, being like, "Wow, this conductor sucks. I'm gonna throw a hammer. I'm gonna throw a shell." <laughs> like what? Finish. Okay, then no. Wait, they all won except Peach. Sorry, I thought it went on her for a second. I was like, no, they did not all win because she sucked. They all did that badly and won. It was- it was beautiful. It was so moving. <laughs> what?! Minus four?! So I can't get the star by one?! Are you kidding me?! I know it's not even me, but I feel personally attacked by this game right now. I need more lipstick. I can't handle this. Mm -mm. I can't. Stupid. Oh. Like he had enough money and the game's just like, mm, you know what? I don't think so. I think we're gonna just take that away as you're approaching Toad. Yeah, raise your hand if you've ever been personally victimized by Mario Party. Just now. Which was definitely not the first time, obviously. This is one of those mini games that I just don't like. It's too long and too boring. <laughs> Raise your hands, you guys. You know you've been personally victimized by Mario Party before. Wow, sucks to suck, Yoshi! Did that fall all the way back down to the bottom? This is gonna take forever. I know, we did not need to have these, like, another ocean game like this. We really didn't. Watch him drop this again. He's gonna drop it again! What an idiot! Okay, he can't possibly not get it this time. Good. At least they're staying together so that the screen doesn't zoom out so far to where you can't see. This is just tragic. This is one of those mini games where it's not too terribly interesting to just watch the CPUs play be because of that. It's just garbage and comes down to a time, your time running out. Mm-mm. So dumb. So, so dumb. Okay, well, anyway. So you guys, we are raising money for St. Jude today. Trying to get an extra hundred on top of our goal amount that was reached yesterday, 500. And there's still plenty of game left. Also, this background they still haven't fixed this glitch, which is really interesting to me. There's no background on this minigame. Why would you go for one coin? What are you doing? And you lost. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Suck. Anyway, but we're still raising money for St. Jude today. This is the final day of the campaign, too, so if you want to utilize those incentives, um, definitely get your donations in because the... The campaign will end at midnight tonight anyway, so it'll be too late by then. Oh my gosh, Jilly, those stretchy legs. So I just want to reiterate that. 
as that's the reason for this tonight, that's the reason for the chaotic, like, hey, look, no hands game. Um, but exclamation St. Jude in the chat will pull up my campaign page with all the information on it that you need. Um, and you can, re you can redeem reward incentives for as little as one dollar. So there you go. And every dollar counts. Every dollar makes a difference. One dollar from a million people? Well, that's a million dollars, and there's a lot more going on than just my campaign, so, like, don't feel like that's not gonna do anything, because it, it adds up. It really does. Also, thankfully that happened, so we did not have to watch that monstrosity for, like, forever. That's what happens even when you play half the time. They just, like, walk backwards, and they're like, Oh no, I can't run it. <laughs> I can't run into ghosts! Even though one of the other games is literally running into the ghost to tell you which one has treasure. Dang, they have to, they've played a lot of one-player minigames. Oh, the, this is not gonna end well. Like, I already know. Yoshi's going down. Sorry, Yoshi. I am a little... Okay, I'm not that surprised, but I'm a little surprised that Mario's Rainbow Castle won tonight, because I was thinking with the... Miss. Mm -mm. <laughs> I was thinking what would happen is, like, Bowser's Magma Mountain would win the first poll, and Eternal Star would win the second poll, and then we'd have the two unlockable boards go head-to-head. -head. But I guess you can't beat the classic, right? This just has the best music. Although Eternal Star's music is great, too. Luigi just rolled off- Finish. Luigi just rolled off the edge. I feel like he could have won by not doing anything. <laughs> so dumb! Why are easy CPUs so dumb? Oh, is this the comeback? <gasps> Please tell me the uh, Toad is up there. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> yeah, this is this could be a Wario's turning point for sure. Oh, go get Dolly. We gotta go get Dolly. Well, she's right here. So say hi to Dolly, everybody. Dolly's joining the party. Oh my god, how many one players do we need to see of this guy? He's gonna fail this one too. Like, you know it's gonna happen. What do you think, Julie? Look at her legs are just hanging off the couch like she's stretched. Don't do it, Yoshi. You bend that back. Do it. Miss. This guy's losing all his money to just sucking at these one-player minigames. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyway, amazing. Welcome to the chat. Mario's Rainbow Castle is literally just a circle. It's not just a circle. It's a cloud. A cloud. Oh, I love it. I love Mario's Rainbow Castle because I love rainbows. I love the chance element. And I love the music. You can't get better music. Seriously. Just so relaxing. Please do not fit. No, do not fail me, Wario. What are you doing? Pull that cheek. No, no, no. Go back to the right cheek. Oh my god, no. Finish. This is the face of a winner. I disagree with that. Um, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, Yoshi is about, he really is about to have a negative number in minigame stars. He really is. Anyway. Ah, yes, impeccable. Oh, you know it. Uh, but the perfect face. And... I think this board should be in Superstars DLC. If they end up going a DLC route, I would love to see it. And 
hear a remake of this music, as well as the homestretch version of this. That would be so cool. At this point, I'm thinking that they might just announce a sequel. I don't know that they'll do DLC anymore. I was really confident in that for a while, and now that it's been, you know, it'll be, what, two years this October, I'm thinking that th they might just have a sequel in the works. I don't know. This has been really successful, or not this, but Superstars has been really successful and w really well received. Lots of people want more, so I could just see them releasing a sequel over DLC. I mean, I, it is possible because of the whole, like, online service, premium, pay, whatever. But, like, I, I would be- I, don't, I really don't care. Either way. But. And this is my favorite coin-a-thon minigame in Mario Party 1. This is one of my favorite minigames. Which is a hot take, because I know a lot of people that don't like it, but... Hey, look at you go, Wario! Um, back to the drawing board on Mario's plastic surgery. Finish. It would have been fun, like, I know that, like, Dr. Mario exists, but it would have been fun to have an actual, like, Dr. Mario sort of game, like, that had a bunch of different things that you could do. Um, that would be a good idea for a game, honestly, like have the traditional puzzle game that is Dr. Mario, but then, like, I love Mushroom Medic from Mario Party 4. Have some kind of mode like that where you, you like, diagnose patients or whatever. Um, and then also have, like, a facelift unit, like, plastic surgery unit. Like, it would be so cute to have, like, this whole game that's just Mario's Hospital or whatever. I don't know. I have no idea what I would call it, but... I'm going to put this back here with Dilly. Dilly, I'll put Dolly with me. I get kisses. I get kisses. He's like, oh, okay, that's great. I love it. Your mom kiss? Like, maybe not. Maybe not right now, but. <laughs> yeah! Oh, Dilly, she's just so, so cozy. I'm really curious, honestly just to see what the next Mario game is, because I feel like we're pretty close to just getting a new Mario game in general. Especially since the last, like, big Mario game was Odyssey, right? That was a while ago. Like, that was a long time ago. Even if it's just a sequel to that, I wouldn't be surprised if that's announced this year. Whenever the next Direct is. I think... I think there will probably be a direct next month. There's usually one in June because of, like, E3, and since E3 isn't happening anymore, like, just kind of anticipating that. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it'd be nice to see... I, I'm not a personal fan of Mario Odyssey, but I know the, I'm the minority, and I know that. So, if they've been working on a sequel, I wouldn't be surprised, but it would just be fun to see a, another big Mario title get announced. Um... And, you know, there isn't really anything announced on Nintendo's end for the second half of this year. So, especially like holiday and stuff, there's nothing. So it's just a matter of the next Direct, I think. We love Julie! Oh, we do, Rainbow Road! And she loves you guys. She loves to stream. Of course Peach wins this. Um, but yeah. Anyway, turn of the Drew, welcome to the stream. Welcome on in. Right, I feel like Mario's due for a new fun 3D adventure. I agree. It's just been a long time, because Odyssey came out in what? Like 2017? Cass, thank you so much! <laughs> this message though. <laughs> Oh, thank you so, so much, Cass. I gotta give you all the pink keys. Yes! Good evening. Do you know how cool I am? The Relations H. The Relation H! <laughs> oh my god, Cass, thank you so much! Hottie alert, let's go! <laughs> so, so dumb. Also, Yoshi's playing another one player right now. 
Dog Patrol! Party on the weekend! Thank you so, so much, Casanova, for the hot dono. Which get- are you giving me double stork? Double stork patrol. How did this happen? Nitrum, thank you so much! Oh my gosh, thank you so, so very much for that $10 donation. Dang! Double Stork Patrol. Like, what are the odds of this? <laughs> there you go. Um, thank you so much, you guys, for those donations to St. Jude. Wow, Nitrum says Mario Party? More like Mario Party. <laughs> Solid donation message. Oh my god. And also animal ears, so I'll do two different ones. I'll do, um, first five minutes I'll be Kit. Second, uh, five minutes I will be a fox. I'll be foxy. Okay, hold on. I gotta get the timer started. There we go. Alright, so thank you so much for turning me into Kit. Uh-oh, my ears were lopsided. Um. We love it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Casanova and Nitrum, for your generous contributions to St. Jude. Bringing us up to $537. Thank you so very much, you guys. Everybody who's donated. Uh, yeah, Stork Patrol twice. There are so many alerts, too. Like, why did it choose the same one twice? I don't know, but... But yes, welcome, Cass. Thank you again. And thank you for the the hot the double hottie. No! <laughs> I too wonder what happened to that stork costume, Bree. Although I have a feeling it went straight into the garbage like right after they finished filming that. Considering like the last take, it's like falling apart. Or what I assume is the last take. I don't know what order they filmed this in, but you know, like the last screen of the stork running, it's like falling apart. <laughs> So yeah, probably. Yahoo! These are the kinds of questions I wanted to ask and couldn't speak when I met uh, Yorma all those years ago now. So maybe if I ever get the chance to meet one of the Lonely Island crew again, I will be better with my words, but no guarantees. <laughs> I think I just need to- the only thing I need to remember, because I had all the questions and all the, like, hype at the time. Now I'm like, okay, I need to narrow down what I'm thinking of when I'm, like, face to face with it. I need to narrow it down to Stork Patrol and Stork Patrol alone. Don't ask anything else, just think about Stork Patrol and then I'll be like, okay, Stork Patrol, what do I want to ask? And even if I'm like, what the heck is- what the heck was that? That would be fine. <laughs> Yeah, my mind would 100% go blank. I could not speak. Like, I didn't know fandom until that moment, truly. Where I was like, wow, I'll be great. And then I couldn't remember my own name. I mean, they probably thought I was the biggest weirdo. Because I could not speak. <laughs> so I looked like an idiot. But it was worth it. It was so fun. Um, <gasps> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love that alert so much. And oh yeah, Doritos chip. Psycho Nacho Man, thank you for an additional $22.22 to St. Jude Play Live. Thank you so much. We get puppet hands for, um, what is this, for five minutes, I think? Although, tonight I could do- I could actually do- I don't know, which ones do you want, Psycho? Do you want the little unicorns, or do you want the Pokemon puppets? Because I'm not even holding a controller tonight, so I could honestly do the Pokemon and it would be fine. Um, so it's up to you. It's up to you what you want. You know? Yeah. <laughs> no. These are, like, weirdly satisfying to hold, because they're, like... These ones I have look fine? Okay, let me start the timer then. The unis from last year. Alright, so let's get another timer going. There we 
we go. Alright, thank you so, so very much, Psycho, for the dono. I'm gonna be talking as these guys, too. And I'll try to alternate who's talking. Finish. You know what I love is when, like, Kermit the Frog go. he goes... He makes that weird face. I'm not very good at mimicking what I'm saying right now. Whoops. So yeah, moral of the story, whenever I meet the Lonely Island again, I need to remember Stork Patrol. And that's it. If I were a bunny, I'd hop, hop, hop. I, that is like one of my favorite moments from Powerpuff Girls. Jilly. Jilly seems interested in these unicorns. She did? Jilly, did you like the unicorns? Hey, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> that was too much. <laughs> what do you mean? You gave him kisses! <laughs> oh my gosh, she gave him both kisses. So sweet. Okay, the animal ears need to switch. Hold on. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna switch my animal ears really quickly. Sorry, I took my unicorns off to do this. Yay, now I'm a fox with unicorns. <laughs> yeah, if I were a fish, I'd scream, scream, scream. <laughs> I love the cutaway where it's like, if I were a candle, I, and I'm like, I would really love to know what he would do if he were a candle. Like that's my number one question from that episode is what would you do if you were a candle exactly? She was looking, but she gave up. Oh my gosh. Hi, Jenny. Did you want a pink kiss? Oh, oh my gosh. Can you guys see that she's just straight up, like, kissing these unicorns? They love it. Oh, you really like this one. Oh, don't touch those toes. Don't touch those toes. She was very interested. I always thought, uh, Phantom, that it would be like, I'd blow, which I don't know what, you know, I don't know what that means. But then again, I feel like it wouldn't be that obvious, because if he were a fish, he'd scream. So, <laughs> maybe not. I don't know! Miss. Oh, what? He missed? He missed, Julie. What do you think? <laughs> she just gives squints, like, that's great. I don't understand. Now, what happened to this chair? I have messed up my the rug. This chair, that's all wonkular. Okay, I'm good. I am good at the moment. Um, every time I go to push the start button, it pause there it won't okay i don't know oh please be bomb skip ball let's go oh my gosh let's go 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 <laughs> dilly doesn't understand 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 please like Like, he didn't even do anything. He walked super slow, and no one did one thing to stop him. I don't understand. Girl, you got unicorns for hands! I do, Nosuke! My unicorn hands. They're so cute. Like, I love these unicorns from last year. I got dinosaurs this year, but they're both identical. So I like that these two are, like, completely different colors. I'm jealous because Odie got sharks this year. They're both the same, but they're sharks. Like, how fun! What was that slow strut? I don't know. Jilly went upside down, by the way. She's like... Oh. She's not like that, but she is um, loving this. 
Also, I did not check what turn it was again. And now we have to sit through Ground Pound! Yeah, they're really cute. Alright, the timer is up for the unicorns. Thank you so much, Psycho. And I'm gonna set those to the side for the moment. Look at him, he's doing pretty well. Toad, you got the Marsh Stomp puppet from Pokemon Center? Let's go! I had Marsh Stomp out last night. Marsh Stomp and Psyduck, but mostly Psyduck, but. Oh my gosh, I love those puppets so much. Love, love. Love, Julie. She's like, I don't care. Yeah, farewell for now, unicorns. They may be back later. I did not check the turn count, did I? I'm trying to take a break at the halfway point. Obviously not until timers are up, but this second one's about to be up. Is he gonna go for the little chests again? This is what happens when Wario's a CPU. He gonna go for that tiny chest. <gasps> he didn't go for the tiny one! He's also swimming the wrong way, though. Go, go, come on. Wario, what are you doing? Come on! How can he be this bad? Oh gosh, okay, the animal ears are up. Thank you again, everybody who donated to have all that you just saw happen. Thank you so much. And today in good music, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the bits. I rewatched your babysitting mama vids. They were very nostalgic. Well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy them. Those were uh, such a long time ago now, and I, like, have not played that game in a very long time. I still have the baby. It's in storage, but... Classic babysitting mama. So ridiculous. Okay. Oh my gosh, Cass! Wario gave up! Get up yourself. <laughs> Wario gave up. He did, but he did get a star this time, and he has 64 coins for, like, a second. Thank you for the bits, Cass. I feel like he's like, I'm not cut out to do this. Okay, 24. So after the next turn, we're gonna take a quick little break. <gasps> and he gets 20! Oh, fun! Look, things are turning around for Wario, you guys. Things are turning around. The Babysitting Mama LP was a lot of fun to make. At the time, I had to... I didn't do webcam. I didn't even own a webcam. Um... Because I've always had a desktop, I've never had a laptop. And, well, I shouldn't say I've never had a laptop, but I've never had a laptop that's like my main computer. I had like a little uh, mini laptop that I used for school and that was it. And then I basically, it was like, it's heyday was over by the end of that. So, um, I've only ever used my desktop. And desktops, you know, you buy a monitor, it doesn't have a webcam built in, like a like a laptop would, typically. Um, so anyway, I had to set up, like, my digital camera, I had to charge it, and there were a couple times where the camera died and I had to, like, start over, whatever, but I had to put it, like, on a tripod in my room um, to film at the same time while I was Let's Playing with my regular setup, and then, you know, sync it all together later. So it was, it was kind of fun to do something like that then because it wasn't such commonplace. You know, now it's like most of the people on Twitch use webcam um, while they game. Like, that's just like the norm. But back then with Let's- What are you doing, Wario? You could have won this like 40 seconds ago! That was just tragic and stupid. Anyway, so at the time, it was, like, not quite the norm, so I felt like my ambitions were in a good place anyway. So I was proud of that project, for sure. And I want to say, like, that one of those video- I think it's Emma's video is, like, the most viewed on my channel to this day, which is crazy, but it must end up- it must have ended up in a lot of people's algorithm, weirdly, back in the day, and it still does sometimes, but... Um, 
I used to watch it on my sister's iPad. I wanted to tune into a stream for ages, but you streamed late for me. Oh no! Well, I'm glad you're here now! I'm glad you're here now. Well, thank you so much for stopping on in. I know, time zones. They ruin things. What can we do? But I do back up most of my gaming stuff to YouTube. I know that's not the same as watching live, but... You know, it's the best I can do for time zones, at least. Babies don't belong in storage, madam! I'm sorry! <laughs> for a game I'm not actively playing, I was like, I do not need to have this baby around. I have such little storage space. Period. Forget it. Um, my go-to rewatch is your Super Mario Bros. 2 LP. I still quote it to this day. Oh my god, I don't even remember it at all. Like, I remember doing it, but I don't remember one thing from it. So, lovely kin, that's hilarious. I definitely have my projects of other people's that I do that with, though. I quote Slim Kirby's, like, Mario Party. Or I paraphrase. I don't know if quote's the right word, because I just paraphrase, paraphrase fun things that he said that I think are hilarious now that did not, like, age. Especially, like, things he said about, like, Odie. So funny. And I, I quote, uh... Griffin Lobster stuff a lot too, but just because I'm a big old fan. Anyway, it's 2 a.m. and I can't sleep, so uh, well, hey, you're here. Um, also, I'm gonna take a quick break because Wario is ill, he's poisoned, and that way you guys can take a moment to stretch or get a snack or use the bathroom like I'm about to. So, um, Anyway, yeah, 946,000 views on that Babysitting Mama video. I don't know. It, like, it's the closest any of my videos have come to going viral, I guess. But, uh, well, not vi viral's not. It's just the cl the high highest viewed video for some reason. And I have no explanation. <laughs> Maybe someday it'll break a million. Okay, I will be back in just a few minutes, you guys. Um, I'm gonna play my St. Jude video one more time, so if you've seen it a million times, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna play it for anybody who hasn't seen it, so we remember, we're all here tonight to raise money for St. Jude. We're about halfway through the game now. Um, still plenty of fun to be had. You can still donate for incentives, obviously. That's why we're all here. So if you wanna check out the campaign page while I'm away, um, feel free to do so. I think I just shared that. Oh no, the donation link was just shared. Okay, anyway, there's my campaign page. Check it out. I'll be back in a few minutes.
Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to Mario Party AI for the Cure, raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital this evening. Thank you so much for joining me. We just took a quick little break here and now we're gonna get back to the game. So the CPUs are ready. Current standings. Uh, Peach is somehow in fourth now with 69 coins. She was really, uh, you know, just the game was playing major favorites at the beginning of this and was like, wow, Peach gets to win every, everything and every time. But that has since turned around, so Peach is now losing. Uh, Wario is in third with one star and 97 coins. Looks like Luigi's had more luck than anybody with stars. Not just now, but that's kind of crazy. Anyway, Yoshi is in second with 57 coins and two stars, and Luigi is in first currently with 79 coins, three stars. So I didn't, I don't really think any of us saw Luigi being the top dog here, but here he is. But there's still plenty of game left. We're only halfway, so who knows how that'll change by the end. We already had a prediction earlier, um, and the standing for that is currently Wario is predicted to be the winner by 41%. Peach is predicted to be the winner by 30%, Yoshi has 12%, <laughs> and Luigi has 17%. So right now it's looking good for those of you who chose Luigi, but uh, we'll see what happens. Also, raising money for St. Jude means fun incentives for your donations that you can redeem. Um, you can donate as little as $1 to redeem a fun incentive reward, such as a googly eye on my face, or a Mad Lib, um, and if you choose to donate more, that unlocks more incentive, uh, more incentive options. So uh, you can, you know, choose whichever you want from the list. There is a campaign page that Nightbot has been throwing around. I'll go ahead and post it right now. Exclamation St. Jude brings that up, and that'll take you to my cam campaign page that has all the reward incentives on it. So when you make your donation, you can choose a reward incentive. And we're trying to get to 600. We already met. My personal goal for the event last night, which was 500. Boo, boo, come on, let's go. You gotta steal Star Wario. But anyway, we're trying to get an extra 100 on top of that, so feel free to donate um, and support the kids of St. Jude and their families. So thank you all so much to everybody who's already donated and those of you who donated tonight. It's been a lot of fun. And we're just watching some AI play Mario Party and make poor choices and play weirdly. Um, welcome to the stream, Armand2017 and Madam Mom, welcome on in! Anyway... Imagine playing this in real life. I'm- I- you mean hand car havoc where it's like, well, you know, if you just fall off into the lava, you just die. How exciting. Uh, <laughs> Dizzy Nitro making poor choices is a favorite pastime of mine. Oh no! Haha, ha, PhD, I don't know. Did I say hi to you earlier? Did you just get here? I don't know. I can't remember. This is so... I'm just gonna turn audio down on my TV because it's like way out of sync. Oh, he's getting it. He got it. Wow. Is the audio synced up right on this for you guys? I think it is, yeah. I just wanted to make sure because it was like having a weird echo on my on my end, not hopefully not for you guys. I was here a lot earlier. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I hadn't seen your username recently, so I was like, maybe not. Um, but that makes sense now. Seems synced. Okay. It must just be on my end then. I've had that issue lately where on my end it's like not the same as on my computer. Like one of the audio. And it, it makes me think like, oh, my computer's not synced up, but it has to be because it's synced to the video. Or I guess the audio's not desynced from the video, it's like desynced from my TV, if that makes sense. From my other monitor. Because I don't use a second monitor, I just use my TV. Anyway, Jilly is so cozy, by the way. Do you guys see Jilly? And I love um, that I was able to see Jilly's sister Sally when 
Odin and I went to the St. Jude Summit. So she's in that video. I love that she's in the St. Jude video I put together, I put together from the summit. Um, yeah, that cat is me right now. Julie! I know. I had such a wonderful Saturday. was able to get outside and uh, enjoy the beautiful weather and everything, but I did a lot of walking, so I'm tired. <laughs> I'm like tired, you know when you like have had a really good workout or you've been outside and active all day and you like, it's like a good tired later, you're not just like, oh my god I'm so dead, but it's like, oh wow, I feel like I really like, um, had a good workout and I'm just ready to relax, it's like that, that kind of tired. God, I'm so tired of seeing, speaking of tired, I cannot, I don't need to see this minigame again. Especially for Bowser, it's just so annoying. So, so annoying. Yeah, but it was 92 degrees here today, but I still had a good day at least. Ooh, I love the hot weather, but it was definitely not that hot here today. It was like, it was very nice. Good old, um, good spring weather, you know. We've had a lot of pretty cold days lately for it being kind of late spring at this point which is kind of the definition of spring spring is like all four seasons in one um even though it claims to be like the nice weather it's not it's like sometimes nice sometimes freezing and then sometimes weirdly hot for a day um so i don't know but i feel like it's been mostly cold so it's nice to have finally gotten some nice warm weather um that's not rainy either like we've had a ton of rain lately too and or just gloomy days so i'm kind of like over that i'm like i just don't i'm i'm tired of the gloom so i need some of the nice sunshine Ready? Go. anyway got me some hot pizza nice yo yo i had pizza earlier as well i had pizza yesterday and then i had leftovers today but you gotta go you gotta love the Two for one, a double meal. Anyway. And then you don't have to go, what am I gonna eat tonight? Uh, yeah, so it's not the original season. Yeah, and spring is just not what it claims to be most days. What? It was in the upper 70s today? I'm already ready for fall? Yo, upper 70s is like spring weather to me and then like 90s is summer and then I would say like 50s is fall I want to say like wow 30s and 20s and 30s are winter but it always gets colder than that and I complain <laughs> I don't like to be cold but I do love the winter I do um, Oh my god, I still need to order dinner! Who pre-orders dinner, the stream? Do it. Order pizza. It was- it- it was- is so nice here today. I was dying to go to the beach, but I still can't walk. Oh no! I forgot about that, Brie! Yeah, how's your ankle doing? Like, do you just have to rest it, or like... Are you in a brace at the moment or something? That sucks. It really does. I'm always ready for fall, my favorite. Fall is a fun season, especially for fashion. Speaking of fashion, I was reviewing the Met Gala. I don't think I talked about this yet. I was reviewing all the different fashion on the Met Gala because I was streaming during it. And also, I don't necessarily watch need to watch it live because it's a lot of like taking forever with interviews and showing like the I'll end up seeing like the four people I don't care about and everybody else I don't end up seeing it all so I just like look after the fact that the fashion and um the theme was like an ode to Karl Lagerfeld who was the head designer of Chanel for a very long time and is you know, has quite the rep in the fashion world. It's like, oh, but he's controversial. And it's like, well, who isn't controversial anymore? I don't know. 
But anyway, it was just like such a boring... I feel like a lot of people did not do much with the theme, and I don't know that you really could do a ton with the theme anyway. What are you guys doing? It says go down! Go down, idiot. They all went in like the same pattern. I don't think I've ever seen anybody draw on this mini game. Stupid. Um, anyway, but I was really excited about all the people that honored his cat. His snowshoe kitty. Like, oh my god. Especially Jared Leto, who was just in full cat mascot costume. Like, that was great. Okay, hold on. So, it's better than it was. I think most of my swelling has gone away, but yeah, I've been wearing my heavy lace up brace anytime I have to walk further than like 10 steps. That sucks. Oh man. It's j is it just a sprain or like, I mean, a sprain is worse than a break technically, but. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I'm laughing about your indecisiveness for food too. I love how it's early May and we're all talking about fall already. Hey, I'm not ready for fall. I need summer first. I love summer. We cannot skip my favorite season. And when I feel it coming, I get so excited. Like when it's like, oh my gosh, it's getting warm out. Let's go. I've never seen this mini game draw. This is astonishing. I nev never have I seen that mini game draw either, which is just embarrassing for these CPUs. Um. I was purposely waiting until after the stream to start looking at where I want to order from so I wasn't distracted. I've been really wanting sushi lately too, but it just has not worked out with my schedule over the weekend. And it's like every time I want to go there, it's like, or go, go there. Every time I want to order sushi, it's like I don't... It, the place I'd order from isn't open yet or something and then by the time it is it's like it's too late I've already had to eat something else so the CPUs are set to easy and I have a donation incentive where you can change the difficulty of one of the CPUs but we haven't seen it yet so they've all just stayed equally easy the entire game I also didn't watch this this time or else I would have told you guys which one was Wario but I didn't watch so sorry um I know, I love Jared Leto decided to go full fursuit, which was a bold decision. You know what wasn't bold, a bold decision though? That heinous carpet. They did not even have like a presentable carpet for the Met Gal. It was just like white with two stripes. Like what? What was this? Dumb. So it's like, that's the time to be creative and they just weren't, so. Um. Oh no, you're so far behind, Kaboom, because of your laptop! That's okay. It happens. <laughs> Almost got some sushi at Whole Foods earlier today, but none of what they had looked that great. I've been trying to get sushi just from the grocery store for like weeks now, and they never have a Philadelphia roll, which is what I get. They have like California roll, and I don't eat crab because I, first of all, I don't like crab meat like it's just not a thing for me and it's just it would never be my go-to anyway so I'm just like no I do not want California roll and it's like that's all they ever have yes same that's exactly what I was about to say it's been weeks of me doing this and all they have is California roll um I don't know I'm just like can I please have um Philadelphia roll for once <laughs> And I don't know if they make it, and it- You'd think if they make it and it's really popular and people snatch it up immediately that they would make more of that, but they don't. So I don't really know. I would even take spicy tuna roll. I'm not even a big spice person, but it's usually pretty mild. Um, so I usually don't have to worry about it. And I would eat that, but they don't have that either. Or New York roll or something? No. It's always California roll. Or some other kind of like roll that's like a fun name that's just like a bunch of stuff I don't want so um, I thought the Met Gala was pretty cool last year it was just like boring more I don't know more lackluster this year 
The roach stole the, sh the show? What? What roach? I didn't hear about this. <laughs> anyway. I haven't gotten grocery store sushi in forever because for whatever reason they all stopped having Philly rolls. Why? I know that the grocery stores around me have not stopped. It's just always gone. Oh, this could be a game changer. This could be. This could be quite the, uh, the turn of events. We'll see. Luigi's in the lead, or he was, at least last time I checked. Okay, that didn't really do much. That was a lot more boring than what I was anticipating. Oh wait, he lost a- s Oh, Wario stole that star from him. So he's in second now. Yoshi is winning! Who knows what's gonna happen. There was a roach on the carpet?! What? <laughs> no, that's so nasty. I did not- I gotta look at the- they took its picture! What?! <laughs> oh my god! I gotta look up the, the Met Gala roach. I didn't realize this was a thing. I also didn't watch live, so maybe that was more of like a live coverage. That's so funny. Anyway. That is kind of cute! I mean, honestly, like, oh sweet! Well, I guess it's here, so let's take a picture of it. Um, also sucks to suck. Yeah, maybe we were the only two buying Philly Roll. Although I don't think so. I just feel like... We have bad luck when it comes to grocery store sushi. They even have a video of the photographer taking photos of it? Why do I feel like this... What is happening now? Luigi and... Oh, well, I think they have the same number of stars. Oh god, what is happening? Sorry. I... Oh no, she didn't have any stars! Well, this is a turn of events. That means that... The whole 17% of you that voted for Luigi... He's not doing so hot. Okay, I have got to pause this after this and re-start uh, the capture card. Because give me... Hold on. Give me one second. Let me disable it and re-enable it because it's... It sounded like it was glitching, which may have just been on my end. But we don't need glitches when we've got switches. All right, pedal power. I feel like we've seen a good showcase of all the one player mini games so far. Anyway, Lily Lang, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the easy CPU game that's going to end with Peach getting swallowed by this ghost while biking. Oh, maybe not. No, she did. Sorry. It was glitching for you. Okay, good. Well, then it should be okay now. Because it was, like, really choppy for a second. Also, I don't think I ever redeemed this hydrate from Cass. From, like, 17 minutes ago. So, sorry, Cass. Here's your hydrate. And things could uh, change yet again. We're getting all the chance times now. <laughs> Can we get some miss in chat? Peach and Yoshi. Now what's gonna happen? Nothing much. Nothing much, little Jula. <laughs> She's so cozy back there. You're so comfy. That is a happy girl. What a happy girl. She loves it. Oh, sorry. I was itching. All right. Oh, boring. I feel like we've seen a 
decent amount of minigames, but then certain ones keep repeating that are, like, not that interesting for, like, easy CPUs to watch. Why is Wario jumping so slowly? I don't know. Anyway, still baffled at this quality Mario party. At the little, 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 it's a bit intense. You mean like the HD quality from the re release? Because. I just love being able to see the deep. Are you kidding me? I love being able to see the details so clearly. And it's like a blessing and a curse, because now going back to the cartridge, it's like, oh wow, it's blurry. <laughs> He's vibe he was. He was not uh, about to get hasty. Alright, well Luigi got another star, so he's making a little bit of a comeback. He's not the- now everybody has a star. What? The HD's a bit intense for you? You want the blurriness? Oh no! I like the crisp clarity. Like, it's just- I don't know, I just feel like so much was missed with the original, like, blur that I didn't even- we didn't even realize. I really like the clarity. All the box mini games are what we're getting now. I want these? Do you want these, June? By the way, you guys, we have about... I want to say like 15, less than 15 turns left uh, before the end of the game. And this is the only thing we're doing tonight. So once it's over, that's going to be the end of the St. Jude campaign. So if you want to get some of those incentives going for St. Jude, um, we're raising money for the rest of the evening. Towards that $600 new goal, 36 turns. So there you go, 15 turns left, including this one. I'll go ahead and read off those incentives again. You can get a googly eye on my face, a Mad Lib, animal ears, a tattoo um, on my face or somewhere, kaleidoscope glasses for five minutes, puppet hands, a hamburger hat, change the CPU difficulty, the hood, uh, super zoom for 10 minutes or a dance video on demand. Those are all incentive rewards that you can redeem for donating at various amounts, starting at $1 and going all the way up to $50. So, um, if you have been considering donating, then you just need to use, uh, exclamation donate in the chat. That'll bring up the link to donate and you can choose one of those incentive rewards and get it going before the end of the stream. Um, you know, there's still there's still plenty of time left. We still have like 14 turns after this, but I just want to reiterate that's why we're all here tonight. That's what we're doing, and also just want to extend my gratitude to everybody who has already donated and for spreading the word too, and for playing Bash and Cash yet again. Although I think I've seen Mario or. <laughs> Mario's not even on the board. Wario, Luigi, and Yoshi all in the Bowser suit. I don't think Peach has got this game, but it's kind of funny that the other three, three out of four, have been in the Bowser suit for this mini game. Anyway. I think it's the characters. They are too crisp for me. Oh no. You'll love a crisp character. I'm really curious to see how this turns out because I feel like everybody except Wario has been in first- well maybe he was in first for a bit. I don't know, I feel like everybody except him has- I've for sure seen it in first place at one point in time and now it's like Luigi was in first place for the longest and now he's in fourth. No, Rice Crispy Yoshi, though. Yep. I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. A Rice Crispy tree in the shape of Yoshi would be nice. Or in the shape of any of these characters. Would be lovely. Oh, dear. Would be quite lovely. Okay, Keep Away. They played this once before and were fine, but this is one that I feel like CPUs could be 
bad at and just make poor choices for humor. What are you gonna do, Yoshi? What is happening to Luigi? Wow, he made good choices, never mind. Guess the joke's on us, Yoshi. Yo, 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 Yoshi. Anyway. So you guys, on Monday, I'll be back to um, normal streaming, so the St. Jude campaign will be over. But on Monday, I'm planning to play through... I did this last Monday. I played Paper Mario Chapter 6. Because springtime, you know. And it was just fitting, and that's where I was in the game. And I'm like, I might as well do this. Well, now we're to my favorite chapter. I did, like, all the in-between chapter stuff yesterday. And so I think I'm going to play... Cha I'm going to play Chapter 7. I don't think. I know I'm going to play Chapter 7 on Monday uh, for you guys. And I'm very excited about it. I'm like, oh my god, I love Chapter 7 so much! Thanks for the money, Peach. I love Chapter 7 so, so much. I think it's incredibly well written. And I kind of want to play it sooner rather than later because, again, the weather's getting warmer and I'm dorky and like to be like, oh, that's a fun chapter to play when it's cold out, which I don't think it's going to get that cold again. You know, knock on wood. For, um the rest of the season, I would hope, but you never know. Shy Guy says... Anyway. It was I mean, it was pretty cold here, like, last week. So, I mean, you I say that, but you never know. It was, like, cold enough to wear a coat last week for days. Which is just annoying. But yeah. Oh, I love those hot summer nights. I will always, like, I just love the hot weather and the heat. And I love when you can go outside at night and it's like hot summer air. Like, that is my favorite feeling. Is when it's loud, like super loud from all the bugs and all the like, creatures that are out in the night in the summer like it's just I love that sound and just that feeling of like oh my god the air is warm and this the moon is out like it's not even like it's I love that it's this warm without the sun um I mean I love the sun but you know what I mean like there's just something so comforting about that for me it just reminds me of like I don't know my childhood or something but it just makes me so happy so that is my favorite. I love the noisiness of summer nights, and I love the super ultra quiet peacefulness of winter nights. It's like polar opposites. Oh, they're up in so many one player mini games. Whoo! I'm looking forward to hearing the Katie Dids at night again. I know, right? The Katie Dids, the Cicadas. We get a lot of frogs around here that make, like, fun noises at night, too. Why would you go for the single coin over the coin bag? He's gonna fail. There's no way. <laughs> they just look so funny, falling into the black abyss. So dumb. I love hearing the cicadas and crickets. Yes, and the crickets too. And even the frogs. Yeah, see? Like if you live near any kind of water, you hear like the big, all the various like, what is that? And they're always frogs. Like the weird frog noises are so peaceful to me. Mushroom mix-up. Have we seen this one yet? If we have, I wasn't paying attention, but I don't know if we've seen this one yet tonight. Oh, wow, Wario with the play? Oh, he was he was in it to get it. In it to win it. In it to get it? And that ground pound, he met his demise. He slid right off by doing whatever that move was. Um, I've not heard any cicadas in about a year or two now. 
Weird. We have them every single year. Where I am, but that's just like... That's been the same forever, since I can remember. <laughs> that is evidence enough for me that Oreo... I was about to say... Uh, fierce, but that move... Yeah, I don't have much of an explanation for that one. And neither does Jilly. Gosh, speaking of cozy, just looking at Jilly, I'm like, man, I wanna... I wish I were that cozy. I had one of those nights last night where I got so much sleep, but like, I still... Like, you know when you wake up and you're so cozy you don't want to get out of bed? It was like, I got so much sleep and I, all I want to do is be like, ooh, this is nice and just snuggle for the rest of time. What are you doing? No one moved. No one moved at first. Anyway, I have cicadas every year as well, but I know different breeds are less common than others. Yeah, that's true. I know like, um, depending on where you live too, you can have very different sounding cicadas, which is interesting. Because you kind of grow accustomed to whatever's around you and then when you go somewhere else and you're like, what's that weird noise, that, you know, alarm sounding strangeness? And it's like, oh, it's the cicadas. And it's like, but they don't sound like that where I am. It's, it's kind of funny. Um, I feel the same way about my dogs, looking at them and how they are all cozy in their beds. I just want to exist in bed like that. <laughs> What's funny is um, the girls, my two kitties, Kit's not out here right now. She's cozy in the other room with Odie, but um, Kit and Jilly both are like, they're both mama's girls. So they stay in bed with mama like until I get up, then they get up. Then they're like, oh, okay, now we can get up. But Odie usually gets up before me, because he has more of a morning routine. I'm- I'd say, like, we're both night owls, but I'm more prone to be a night owl and get up later than he is. Like, he's- he's more prone to, like, he- he gets more done, it feels like, if he gets up early, whereas, like, I get stuff done staying up late, too. So, anyway, regardless, he usually gets up earlier than I do, and the girls will, like, get up with him, to, just no, out of nosiness, to be like, oh, what's he doing? And then as soon as he, like, starts about his day and, like, does his workout or whatever, starts his workout, they're like, okay, that Yoshi loses! Let's go! That's not what they're like. But anyway, as soon as... As soon as he gets started with whatever he's doing in the morning, they come back to bed. And they are in bed until I get up. Like, that's it. They're just like, okay. <laughs> I wish they were. <laughs> yeah, that that was what I was going to say with that story. I'm like, well, as soon as he gets up and everything, they're like, Yoshi, lose! <laughs> In case you're wondering why the Yoshi loses thing is iconic for me at all, because it literally says it about any character losing at that minigame or Hot Rope Jump or any minigame where there's a one singled out loser. The first time I ever noticed it, I just didn't really think about it. The first time I saw it, I don't think I really registered what was happening. I was... Me. Oh, sucks no. to suck. I was just kind of like, oh, you know, yay, I won. Like, I wasn't focusing on the text on screen. So I feel like the first time I really noticed that a game rubbed in your face, that a character lost, it said Yoshi loses. And that was, like, the funniest thing to me. Just how rude this game is. And that was the first one I saw. So it's really not even the fact that like, wow, it's Yoshi. It's just that was the first one I saw and so it became kind of a meme on my channel. And then I used that meme for my Yoshi story Let's Play back in the day, which probably most of you have not even seen, you know? So like, especially if you found me through Twitch, you're like, what? That I had nothing to do with this. So that's kind of the joke behind that was I first noticed it said, this character loses when Yoshi lost. And I feel like that one just has a funny ring to it anyway. Two syllables. Easy to... It rolls off the tongue. 
<laughs> one sing- Seriously! One singled out loser for some of these games is like the funniest thing they could do! This game is so brutal, and that's why I love it. Which is probably why other people don't like it, but I just think it's the funniest thing. And this is gonna be tragic. I already know. <laughs> uh, yeah, the girls need to develop that mentality about Yoshi loses. You found me through Animal Crossing? That makes me happy because that's like one of my favorite LPs. That's probably my favorite LP I ever did, just because I feel like I was... I... Finish. What is going on with these faces? I lost by one. Anyway, I just felt like, um... I was very proud of myself for doing something different than what was out there at the time. And it was a little bit more ambitious than some of the other stuff I had already done, so I was very proud of it. If I would change- and now, it's like, the only thing I would change about it now is I would take the music out of it. Like, I added music because I filmed around the same time every day, so it was always the same music in the background. It was usually the 1pm, like, cat song, though, which is great. So, I feel like now I would be like, okay, don't add all this weird music in the background. It was fun to take requests from the audience and from friends and stuff and to make themed episodes, like, Cass redeemed the 1000 bit alert earlier, which is the pinky moving into the neighborhood alert. And in the background, you briefly hear the Paper Mario, like, uh, Flower Fields sunshine music, like, at the end of that alert. Because the theme of the day was, like, flowers blooming or gardening. I don't even know what it was, but it was something like that. And I just themed every single episode or with something. Um, or songs that sounded like summer, because music's a big deal to me, and I always have, like, my summer playlist, my vacation playlist that I listen to every year that just grows, but has the same music on it from when I was a kid, too. So anyway, I, like, wanted to incorporate that, but I feel like now I wouldn't do that because of the issues behind music being in video. It's so quiet, like, does it even matter? No, but anyway. Oh, here we go. I think it's the second one for Wario. I don't know if that's right though. I feel like I missed a pipe. Oh, no I didn't. No I didn't, I had it right. Okay, well. I didn't win though because the second one didn't get chosen. Finish. Um. There's always some weird lore behind a lot of these like iconic moments or like alerts that are like what is happening especially if you weren't there for them you might just like it might be funny to you but you might not know like the story behind it and there's usually a story behind everything so um anyway Mario Party yes that's the reason I love the original Animal Crossing I think more than any of the others. It's like my favorite becomes the newest one because of the all the features and all the fixes from previous games. But like the original will always have my heart with Animal Crossing because it was so brutal and it was so funny because of it. And I guess that just like suits my humor or something. Like that's just what I like about it. But it does, it has a certain charm. I agree, Yo-Yo. It has a certain charm. I love it, Turn of the Drew, I really do. Oh, thank you so much, Turn of the Drew. That means a lot to me. <laughs> I'm glad my uh, username caught your name. K the K-Man's Flute sound alert was a much, much newer thing than like a lot of my other alerts. And the only reason I named it that was because he was... He was the friend of mine that showed me the dumb video where that sound uh, originates from. So that was just like, that's just what I think of was that, so. But the sound alerts, you know, rip sound alerts because they stopped working when I disabled them briefly to try and change them over for Christmas and then I don't know what happened. It like, there's some weird glitch with like installing the plugin with my Twitch channel. It like did not want to do it again and it was like, this is not you and I'm like, what? So I just said forget it, you know, we'll just have to use the regular alerts. The regular bit alerts instead of sound alerts. 
Um, right, the brutal pettiness just brings the fun in, honestly, it does. Because it's just, it's meant to be lighthearted. Like, it's just... Games are meant to be fun. They're not meant to be dead serious. So, like, I like when fun, humorous elements are brought in. Like that, that really suits um, my sense of humor. And also, I'm pretty, uh... I'd say I'm pretty happy-go-lucky or... I don't know if that's the right term, but, like, aloof when it comes to games. Like, it's... Kind of like, you know, I try my best, but at the end of the day, I don't care that much. Like, it's just for fun. So. And, you know, I can get competitive with certain things, or I can really hone in and be like, oh, I have to win this, I have to do this, but I don't, like... It's not that deep, you know? So. Your mom loves the Wii and Switch versions, but she used to encourage me to be mean back to the villagers in GameCube. You could write them those, like, let- You had to have certain keywords back then to write them letters, and if you didn't use specific words, they'd be like, I couldn't understand a thing you wrote in your last letter, when it'd be like, hi, I think you're really cool and I like your outfit. They'd be like, I didn't get what you were trying to tell me in your last letter. And it's like, how did you not understand me? So you literally had to write him a, a letter that was like, hello, I hope you're doing well. I enjoy being your friend. Bye. Like that was the, the depth of what they could understand in letters back in the original Animal Crossing. So that got a lot better with uh, future games, luckily. This faux song alert that just says Andy dancing with no background music. Um, thank you so much, Psycho! Zoom in on- oh no! $25! Thank you so much for the generosity, the generous $25 donation. We're at 584.22, and we gotta get a zoom in of my face, it sounds like. Okay, so we're zooming in for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Because I know I'm not. Okay, let me get the timer ready, first of all, and then we'll do the zoom. Okay, let's go. Timer's ready. Is this a one- f okay, no, it's not. Where's my camera? I gotta find my camera. I hope somebody new shows up during this. And I'll just be like, this is how my camera is, I can't get it to zoom out. Okay. Why is it, like, off to the side, though? I gotta angle it. Oh my god. Is this good for you guys? Do you Finish. feel um, a little too close? <laughs> no! Big Sesh! Well, it's really big Bobo. It is, it's really big Bobo right here. Hey, for the last five turns, let's go! I feel like I need more lipstick for this. This is so awkward! <laughs> Thank you so much, Psycho. I feel like that didn't really do anything. Like, the lipstick does not read as dark as it is on my camera, I guess. What is better, seeing, like, just mid-face, where you can't see my whole chin? Or, like, is it? I don't know. Is this as zoomed in as it goes? Did it- do the right- yeah, it did, okay. Sweet. We're at 31%. <laughs> I feel like we need to be able to see your eyes. Can you- you can see them though, right? Or like, this. Isn't this a, an amazing view? Yeah, now that you moved it- oh, okay, it wasn't showing at first. I was like, wait. <laughs> this is so stupid. 
stupid looking. <laughs> oh, when my whole chin was in, my eyes were cut off. Finish. I know. So if you're new here, I'm Madame Wario, and I like to be really up close with my viewers. And I can't get my camera to zoom out because of how close I like to be. Probably nobody. It, it, there's probably nobody doing here right now. <laughs> oh my god. I'm glad that you redeemed the super zoom. What is happening out there? I'm glad you redeemed the super zoom because we hadn't seen it yet. So, you know. Please lose this. He just went straight- he didn't do anything, he just went straight for the side. Way to suck. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now that I would love. Super Zoom Jilly Cam, I would love. And I've, I've mentioned this before, I want to get a Jilly Cam. Oh my god, she's in the cutest pose. Hold on, I gotta try and show you guys. It's so zoomed in. Her little tootsies were up. Dude. Hi, Boo Boo. What are you doing? Dude. Say hi. It's like, I'm not gonna say hi to you, but anyway. I feel like, um... I might have to wait to get a new... Or a more powerful computer before I can have a Jilly Cam because I tried to get my second camera, like my previous camera that I had for streaming. I tried to get it to run and I just need to do a test of this again because I feel like I this is not, it's not good to go off of one experience, but um, I tested running this, the Elgato face cam that I use right now, that I'm using right now that I use for all my streams and my Razer camera, which is the old one I used to use that has the weird color issue. What in the world is this gonna do? Two and three? Well, the only reason this is bad is because I think Luigi has the coin star. So anyway, I don't know if my- I can run both cameras at once on this computer. I could definitely run my Logitech camera, which is the secondary cam I would use with the Razer when doing craft streams. So we could at least get that set up, it's just not that great, so... Um, worst case, I would just set up a Jilly cam that is... Logitech. I think it's just that the... I don't even know that it's the quality of the other camera turn of the Drew that I would need to drop to get it to work. I think it's just a not a great camera. Uh, it, for It's like it, it requires too much power for not being good enough for my needs. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I just need to, I need to test some stuff out with it. Forgot about this alarm. <laughs> oh my god! Uh... <laughs> yo yo! Thank you so so much. How much fun can we get? Uh, this view for the stream. Gonna have to combine the hood. Oh no! With the zoom in. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you so much for the hood. Redemption yo-yo. Thank you for another $20 for St. Jude as well. And that brings us over $600! We're at $604.22. Thank you so much. We just met our secondary goal. Can we get all the goals in chat? Yeah. Also, this combo is just heinous. But we're gonna get it. I'm posting all the goals. Hold on. Oh no, I'm gonna get lipstick on this. Okay. Great. Great look. Amazing. I hope somebody new shows up just for this look. Because it's really hot. I, <laughs> I don't think you guys realize. Okay. Um, 
so we've got 10 minutes of the hood now. 10 minutes of... Zoom in, which is... Has only about 3 minutes left. And we've got Crazy Cutter again, so... Do you see the... This even has rhinestones on it. You see the sparkle? It's amazing. It looks so good. When we went through our costumes, I saw this piece. I was like, there are way too many possibilities for this. Finish. It's just, it's so cool. <gasps> oh no, I thought I, well, I did win, I guess. I guess Wario did win. I just thought I had the top score. <laughs> yeah, this is a Met Gala look. I could go in this costume for the Met Gala with this hood and fit in. Which I don't know if that's impressive or depressing. Maybe a little bit of both. Oh my gosh, Jilly's snoring back there. She's so cozy. She's so cozy. Okay, so current standing, hold on. We are at second to last turn. Wario's in first now. Let me just say, four stars, 134 coins. He could win. Okay, well, this could change everything. Dimpressive. Yep, that's it. You nailed it, Bree. Nailed. Just imagine anybody coming in to this. I need to stop saying that so then if somebody actually does come in, I can be like, yo, this is such a close game. This is such a close look. Oh, now he really does have the, the coin star. Sorry, I'm making dumb jokes now. Um, anyway, Luigi has the coin star. I don't know who has the minigame star. I want to say Peach. I, or I would say Peach, but I don't think that's true anymore. I think that was only true at the beginning of the game. It's kind of anyone's game. It's. I do like that it's close. The fact that it's close is kind of nice. Oh, you know what I... Well, Jilly's so cozy. I'll, I was gonna push the button. The pew, 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 but I think I might wait until Jilly's like more alert. Or at the end of the stream, you know, because she'll get up at the end of the stream anyway. She always does. She like knows the second I stop talking that like she can have my attention again. Last turn. It all comes down to this, you guys. It all comes down to this. We're probably gonna get a Bowser game now. Because that's what keeps happening. <laughs> oh, but it could be facelift. If it were Bash and Cash, that would mean every single one of these characters was the one player in Bash and Cash, though. Oh, that's a good point. Thanks, Odie. So this last minigame is going to be kind of a joke, then, because... I need to, uh... Oh, that's not it. Well, hold on. I'll wait until the... I'll wait until... Ah! Okay, there we go. We can now zoom out a little bit. Thank you so much, Psycho! Thank you so much for the donation! Here we go. Zooming out. She's zooming! Okay. There. That's a little bit more comfortable for you guys, I'm sure. But the hood is still here, so it's still a hot look. Okay, I gotta wait until the last possible second to do this. Jilly! Oh, Jilly, you're up! Hi, baby! Okay, so as soon as he talks to Koopa, I'm gonna make all of the CPUs. Uh, not CPUs anymore. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so that way we get the coins at least. Oh wow, this is gonna be eventful. Not at all. I guess I could throw the game. Uh oh, I played. Oh no. 
If we do this very minimally, will she lose? Alright, I'm going against Peach. Peaches, 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 peaches. Okay, um, what was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna get the button out. Yay, we won! What a shock! Okay, ready? Oh, what do you think? She's like, oh, I don't really know. Yay, we actually hit over 600! So I am happy. Thank you guys so much again for all of your incredible donations. We are overachievers together, all of us. And Mapsy, welcome to the stream. Um, set number of turns is ended. How exciting. Okay, so it comes down to Wario and Luigi both have four stars. Peach has three. Yoshi has two. But what a shift. I feel like this has been all over the place. Okay, everybody's coins. 218. He for sure has the coin star. Okay, mini games. Oh no, this is not good. Oh my god, that means he wins, right? Oh my god, no. Luigi, how could you do? Oh my god, no. Okay, Wario got dissed. Are you guys ready? Yo! All you Luigi! All, all, all of you who predicted Luigi! He won! That was not what I was expecting to happen, but 17%! He had the third lowest number of votes. So, two people. <laughs> Congrats to the two of you who picked Luigi as the winner. I'm going to need a minute. <laughs> yeah, the biggest L for Team Wario. No lie. No lie. What do you think, Julie? Is that kind of exciting? You gonna watch the rainbow? <gasps> She's watching it! Oh my gosh, Julie. Yay! She's so into it! Oh, dab! I dabbed for you, psycho. Oh my gosh. I went all in on Yoshi. Oh. I know a lot of you risked a lot of points for everybody but Luigi, but Luigi came out on top. What can you do? Yeah, I don't know about that, Luigi. I don't know if you're the best, but you did win, so you're the winner at least. The superstar. Hey, Wario came in second, and look, 6-4, how fun. And I don't know what happened to these two. They, like, both had almost the exact same score. They were one coin apart in the end. Alright, I'm gonna look at the details tonight. Um, unlike last night where I just was so shook, I didn't do anything. I just pressed- I just spammed the A button and moved on. Um, but yeah, here are the details. So, game coins, 205, 191. There were only 14 less. I don't know how- Peach had... Was it Peach that kept losing? How did she end up with this many? Or who kept losing the single player? Maybe it was Yoshi. I think it was Yoshi that kept losing, which he had the lowest, but not as low as I would think. Um, let's see. Largest number of coins ever had 218. We already knew that. Wario was once again the runner-up. And Yoshi had five of these. Wario and Luigi both runner-ups, so that wouldn't have helped us anyway. Wow. Lots of chance times. Dang. Nine chance times. We saw a little bit of everything. I wish I had had Boo enabled. I forgot, honestly. But maybe it's for the best, because then we just ended up with more coins in the end. But, it, but you know, Luigi's the winner, so what can you do? And Quincy Crossing, welcome to the stream. I'm sorry, I meant to, um... I was gonna message everybody last night, all the winners, and then... I ended up doing things to prepare for today's stream, so I'll message you at the end of this stream. No worries. So, sorry about that. I know I said I was gonna do it last night and then I, was, I 
still have yet to send that message, but uh, thank you, Yo-Yo, for completing the zoom in with the hood. Thank you again, Psycho, for the extreme zoom in. And thank you, Luigi, for ruining r ruining people's lives. No, I'm kidding. All right, are we gonna be lucky? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. We are not going- we lost like 200 qu This was so dumb. So, so dumb. But it's okay. We'll live. Hey, look, we have like all ones though. 1110. Oh, 100. Oh, oh. Too bad the stars don't turn into coins in this version. Or just, you know, any kind of benefit whatsoever past 100 would be nice. All right, you guys. Uh, honestly, I'm strangely fine with how this game turned out. Well, yo, it was all for fun. It's all for charity in the end. Uh, that's gonna be it for tonight's stream and for my St. Jude Play Live campaign for uh, 2023. I want to thank everybody who donated. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put my burger hat on for the sake of it because I think it's fabulous and it's so cute. Like, yo, I also want to give a shout out. I'm wearing the shirt, but I haven't like pointed it out. I want to give a shout out to um, St. Jude. Woo! Here's the Summit shirt for this year, which it's super cool. It has St. Jude on it, like the actual person, St. Jude, and then um, their classic child logo design. Um, but you know, I wanted to represent for the final day and yeah, the burger hat makes a return. Iconic. I also want to do a Mad Lib because we didn't do any of them and I have literally this giant book. So I got to bust out my Mad Lib beats um, for Brie. So here we go. And for St. Jude, obviously. But um, all right. So I'm going to just use, I'm not even going to look at what this is. This is how can I tell if she likes me? Okay. So adjective. Hey, Odie, give me an adjective. Huh? Oh, I thought you said buttery, and I was like, what? No, buttery, okay. Buttery, all right, you guys, um, post a part of the body. <laughs> this is bad. Post a part of the body in, um, in chat and we'll add it. So I need a body part, I need an adverb and a noun. Spleen? Okay, that's not what I was thinking. Spleen. <laughs> okay, I need an adverb, a noun, and a number. So whichever one you want, you guys want to put out. Adverb, noun, number. Spleen is the <laughs> most romantic. 23, all right, we've got 23 for the number. Um, slowly. And do we have a noun anywhere? If we have any more of these pop up, there's another, there are more like numbers too. 69. 69. I need a lot of nouns, so feel free. Um, okay. Oh, wait a second. Huh? Filler? What's filler? Oh, pillar. Okay, we have soap. <laughs> Stupid. Um, let's see. Hold on, I'm trying to see what else we need. We need another part of the body. Someone said toe. Dirty stink toe. Okay. I need another adjective. Um, okay. Pillar? I don't even- how did- how do I spell pillar in this case? Okay. <laughs> Literally a word I never use. Okay. Um, I need another now. <laughs> bulbous. <laughs> Alright, I like bulbous for our adjective. Bulbous. I need a plural noun. I'm gonna put cookies. Um, 
couple more nouns. So we have flower. What else do we have in here? Cactus. And I need one more plural noun. Pillar is what I lay my head on as I sleep. <laughs> so much, Alan. What? Okay, I need. What do I need still? I need two nouns and a plural noun. So three nouns. So or four nouns. Sorry. Go ahead and desk drawers. Well, I like. I like butts better, so I'm using that. Butts. Because I'm, you know, 12 years old and... Okay. Well, Madam Cookie Mama, your mom! <laughs> also, I feel like several people just jumped in, so Bowie! Thanks for jumping in. Yo, Alan! Um... I'll put, uh, your mom for one of them, because how could we not? Okay, I need two more nouns. Um, we'll do poop and lastly, ear. Okay, cool. So I think we're ready. So this is called, how can I tell... I'm going to switch screens here. This is called, how can I tell if she likes me, written by the queens, you guys. Keep your eyes open for these buttery signs. On your first date, she fusses with her spleen a lot <laughs> and giggles slowly at everything you say. When you pick her up at her... your mom, that almost made sense. When you pick her up at your mom, she keeps you waiting for 23 minutes. You later learn that she changed her pillar ten times. Whatever that means. When you're alone at a restaurant, she gets up from the soap every 69 minutes to visit the lady's poop. <laughs> you can safely bet she's calling her best flower. She starts to flirt with other cookies when you don't give her your full ear. Now that's probably true. Um... A bulbous <laughs> A bulbous friend of hers happens to run into you accidentally. <laughs> That's such a terrible way of putting that. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> A bulbous friend of hers happens to run into you accidentally and tells you her friend thinks you're a cool cactus. She draws a toe and puts her initials and in your butts in its butts. I'm gonna have to say that again because you probably didn't understand that. Okay. So after the bulbous friend shows up and says that her friend thinks you're a cool cactus, she draws a toe and puts her initials and your butts in it. <laughs> and that's how you can tell if she likes me. Or how- I, that's how you can tell if she likes you. What a- what poetry. Um... I think my favorite parts of this are on your first date, she fusses with her spleen a lot and giggles slowly at everything you say. And also, a bulbous friend of hers happens to run into you accidentally. Wow. Amazing. So, there you go. That's your, your ad lib. I didn't realize how many words some of these took either, so... But then again, I was thinking we might get a lot of $1 donations, which I don't think we had any. I think everybody donated more than that, which is fantastic. But I was thinking like, oh, we'll fill them up as we go. But wow, how fun. I haven't done a Mad Lib in a very, very long time. But yes, what poetry? I think that's a good spot to um, end. <laughs> this was so ridiculous. Um, Wow. Thank you guys so much for all your support to St. Jude over the years. 
um, in addition to this year. It's been a lot of fun doing this for the past two days. Um, normally I would do this all month long and have a much larger goal, um, you know, at least over 1,000 or a couple thousand probably, but because it's so short, I wanted to be a little bit, um, I didn't want to be too ambitious because I thought it'd be better to just aim for an overall goal to get us past 15,000 in total over the years rather than to be like, let's get another thousand this year or something in two days. Um, because I know that not everybody has, you know, everybody has different paydays, everybody has the means at different times, like it's just, you know, I wanted to make it as balanced as possible, but also um, have a goal that I thought was attainable in a day or two. Because I wasn't even sure that I would do this for two days, I wasn't sure what was happening, and so luckily we got to do a two-day campaign. Sorry, there's like a hair that's like falling in my face somewhere. Okay. Um, so thank you so much for donating to St. Jude this time around. I really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate you using my campaign to donate. Thank you so much for uh, choosing to donate through my streams and through this community. Obviously, you can donate to St. Jude year-round. There's no time frame for that, but it's so much fun to have these events. Um, and so naturally, I want to shout out everybody who donated today and anything else that happened today. And then I want to show off the alerts that we didn't see because they only happen once a year. And when it's over the course of two days, you know, there's not a whole, there's not a very, very much time to see all those alerts. And Nightbot and Streamlabs are both weird about choosing things, so. Um, Yo Yo Yoshi95, thank you so much for the donation. Psycho Nacho Man, thank you for your donation tonight. Um, or your donations, I'm sorry. Multiple donations tonight. Both of you donated last night too, so thank you so much for your generosity. Nitrum, thank you so much for tonight's donation, as well as Casanova, thank you so much for your donation tonight. And Rainbow Road, thank you for kicking off donations tonight. I really appreciate all of you donating to St. Jude. Um, Thank you so much to Psycho, Nacho Man, Casanova64, and Scottman895 for all the bits tonight. Um, anything smaller, any bits given that were smaller than 100 bits um, are not going to appear on my Streamlabs, but I know we had some that were, several that were given earlier tonight too, so thank you for donating bits. Thank you for the new follows, and thank you all for being here. It's just been a pleasure to host this event once again. And I could not be happier that we reached another 600, over $600 now. Um, you know, so we're, well, I, I'd, I'd have to do the math, but I, we're, I think we're a couple hundred over 15,000 even. So that's amazing. So thank you guys so much. Let me go ahead and pull up. These are going to be test alerts so I can show them off. And some of them are kind of jump scares. So starting with this first one, I'll warn you. <laughs> I love all of these alerts, though. I really love all of them. Um, we didn't see quite a few of these because there are so many. Oh, why is this one not even showing? What happened to Bowser? There it is. Okay, I don't know why it didn't show the first time. So yeah, the, the, I think these first ones are like jump scares. Ironically, I don't, I don't even think I purposely did this. Yeah, thanks, John. Tester John. Wario clear. Gotta love it. Did we do this one? Me. I don't think we saw this one. We did not see that one. We saw Stork Patrol. Like, why did we see so many of these multiple times? No explanation. We did not see this one. Uh, we did not see. We saw a lot of. We, oh, we didn't see this Michael Jackson one either. Listen, the Khmer <laughs> considers us a bunch of losers, but we're gonna do it right this time because we're the best. Amazing. I just uh, the command considers us a bunch of losers. I think we saw all of the rest of them. So we actually did see a lot of them. It's just we got repeats when we didn't need to. So it's fine. Um, and it also wanted to pick the alert that had the messed up audio all the time, too. But, yeah, the Store Patrol was where it's at, I guess. I, I guess you're right, Phantom. But thank you all so much for donating. Those are all of the alerts we did not see. 
Um, let's go ahead and forward the love now to, what is going on with my desk, to another streamer. And thank you again for being here, you guys. Um, really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and plug myself. This is my link tree. It has all my social media on it, Twitter and Instagram. Um, it has my Etsy store on it where I make my own merch, my Discord server, my YouTube channel where I back up my streams. Um, anything and everything of mine that you could possibly need, it's on there. My Patreon is on there. Shout out to my patrons. Currently, my Patreon family. These are the pledges of $5 or more, but I have even more than this in my Patreon family. Thank you guys so much for your extra support on a monthly basis. Um, you guys are awesome. And also, the campaign will be linked in there just for reference. Um, so you can look back at the campaign and see what all happened. However, donations will close um, tonight for my campaign. My campaign will close at midnight tonight. So if you want to donate after the fact, then go for it. But uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to make sure he's still... Um... Oh, wow. He's been streaming for a long time. So we'll see. Um... Let's go ahead. I think he is still streaming, though. Let's go ahead and raid uh, Ronnie Crazy. He actually stopped by last night, and he is also raising money for St. Jude currently. Um, he was somebody who I met at the St. Jude Summit, so let's go ahead and forward the love there. So let's do St. Saint... Jude Play Live. Let's do Luigi Wins. Um, she Zoom? Um, that's a good one. And then also, uh, Mad Lib Beats. How about that? Okay, so those are gonna be our hashtags. Uh, Ronnie Crazy is currently playing Skyward Sword. And it was so much fun tonight, you guys. I, it was a pleasure hosting this event. And I look forward to next year's. I want to be a lot more ambitious with next year's because I'll be able to be, um... But thank you so much for being part of this and for all the donations and everything. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, why is this telling me the prediction? Oh, that's because I have this weirdness up. Okay. Anyway, I will be live again on Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern. I will see you guys then and there. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend and a wonderful night. Sleep well. Uh, and I'll see you on Monday. So love you guys. Bye.